Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. In this video is going to address Nostradamus and the Order of the Quest. Michael Nostradamus, born as Michael D. Notre Dame, seer of France, is among the most extraordinary of such men. Born in 1503 and possessed of some inter source of knowledge beyond the reach of ordinary mortals. He wrote the history of the world to come. 200 years later, the celebrated illuminist and Rosicrucian, the Cote de Saint Germain, remarked to his close friend, Prince Carl of Hesse Kassel, that he was the one who assisted Nostradamus in the calculations of his remarkable predictions. Nostradamus was a respected physician, a man of outstanding medical accomplishments. Few details of his life are available, but from the context of his manuscripts, his epistles to the king of France, and his letters to his son, it is evident that he belonged to the order of the quest. Mystic, philosopher, astronomer, alchemist, and Kabbalist, Nostradamus was versed in all the secret lore disclosed only to those who have bound themselves with the oath of the brotherhood. The prophecies of Nostradamus might have come entirely as revelations of the spirit, but it is entirely possible that in his quaint old doggerel verses, he included part of the things to come, as already well set in the minds and purposes of his brother initiates. In adult life, he was both a respected physician and a mystic who was able to write accurately the history of the world to come. There was no indication at the time that in the Western Hemisphere would arise a great nation, but Dr. Michael Nostradamus saw a civilization established there that would observe, always on Thursday, a day to express thanksgiving for freedom of religion, freedom of opportunity, and freedom of life. He prophesied that this nation would free itself from the bonds of the mother country, would greatly prosper, but would have to fight several wars, one with the Orient, before becoming a great power in a pattern of world peace. With other nations looking to it for leadership, all that he foretold is precisely according to the Platonic tradition. Many of Nostradamus's prophecies, in short, may not have been prophecies at all. They may have been cryptic messages, ciphers, schedules, timetables, instructions, blueprints for action. Whether this was actually the case or not, there is no question that some of Nostradamus's prophecies were not prophecies, but referred quite explicitly to the past, to the Knights Templar, the Merovingian dynasty, the history of the House of Lotrin. A striking number of them refer to Rays, the old Coti of Rin Le Chateau, and the numerous quatrains, which refer to the advent of the Le Grand Monarch, the Great Monarch, indicate that this sovereign would derive ultimately from the Lenga Dot. The man making the prophecy knew the machinery was already set up. We assume the same to be true of Nostradamus, and a large part of his prophetic power was due to the fact that he knew the machinery which would make these things come to pass had already been set up. He belonged to the secret societies of his time, and while it was not possible for him to give the exact date to a day, he knew that the tremendous motion working under the surface of Europe was going to produce the changes he predicted, and perhaps he keyed his verses so that others of his kind might share his knowledge. Is Nostradamus just a prophet or a secret agent of Sion? According to the Prairie documents, the guys and the Lorraines found an ally in a Jew named Nostradamus, 1503-1566. Nostradamus was well aware of the history of the Priory of Zion and the Knights Templar. As the authors of Holy Blood, Holy Grail note, many of his writings refer quite explicitly to the past, to the Knights Templar, the Merovingian dynasty, the history of the House of Lorraine, to the Raises, 
the old Koti of Rin Le Chateau. In any case, there is abundant evidence to suggest that Nostradamus was indeed a secret agent working for Francois de Guise and Charles, Cardinal of Lorraine. The House of Valois, in ignorance, hired Nostradamus as a court physician and astrologer. Not surprisingly, one of his first prophecies was that the Valois dynasty would soon be extinct. Before embarking on his career as a prophet to the French throne, however, Nostradamus spent considerable time in Lorraine, where he was initiated into some portentous secret. An arcane book on which to base his prophecies was supposedly presented to him at the Abbey of Orvel, the same abbey where the Priory of Zion got its start in 1070. Holy Blood, Holy Grail claims that as late as the French Revolution and the Napoleonic era, books of prophecy purportedly authored by Nostradamus were still issuing from Orvel. Holy Blood concludes many of Nostradamus's prophecies in short may have not been prophecies at all. They may have been cryptic messages, ciphers, schedules, timetables, instructions, blueprints for action. Implementing these coded messages was one of the assignments of the Grand Masters of Sion, Francois, Duke of Guise, and his brother Charles, Cardinal of Lorraine, were related to both Grand Masters and may well have taken their orders directly from them. For example, the reputedly Catholic Guise and Lorraines funded the Protestants from time to time, while the Cardinal himself secretly gave money to certain Protestant groups. Again, on March 7, 1560, the Cardinal proposed amnesty for the Huguenots. The House of Guise has been stigmatized by historians as rabidly bigoted and fanatic cardinals, intolerant, brutal, and bloodthirsty. Yet, as the authors of Holy Blood state, there is substantial evidence to suggest that this reputation is to some extent unwarranted, at least so far as adherence to Catholicism is concerned. Francois and his brother appear quite patently to have been brazen, if not cunning, opportunist, courting both cardinals and protestants in the name of their arterial design. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating a little to Wars of the Roses so we can continue doing this work. Thank you so much.